coffee and tea are allowed on the Always Hungry program. Um, coffee has been related to a surprisingly large number of health benefits, most notably reduction in risk of type 2 diabetes. And that's certainly not due to its caffeine content, but rather likely the presence of polyphenols, these plant substances that oftentimes have a, an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effect. You know, for the U.S. population that doesn't eat a lot of plant foods, fruits and vegetables, coffee is really one of the major sources of these polyphenols. You know, we recommend uh, limiting caffeinated drinks to two or three at most a day, but you can have unlimited amounts of decaffeinated coffee on top of that. Tea has less caffeine than coffee, and so can really be consumed uh, in an unlimited quantities.